Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we're making this amazing drunken granny baby blanket. It's perfect for beginners. It looks super complicated and like you super tried, but really all you're doing is four double crochets, chain, and another double crochet, and all into the spaces. So it goes really quick and it looks like amazing. It looks super complicated and it is not. There is a row of single crochet on every single side. And the blanket looks great on both sides. It's totally reversible. Oh, it's so cute. We're gonna start just by making a slip knot and a chain. I'm using the four worsted weight acrylic and I'm gonna be using a six millimeter hook. You can use whatever hook goes along with your yarn and just go with the larger hook size so the blanket is softer. It'll be a, lot, a bit more pliable of a textile. So get your yarn and put the tail over the palm of your non-dominant hand. Hold it down on your ring finger with your thumb and just make a slip knot or make a slip knot any which way. I just wrap it around my two fingers making an X and poke it through the other side and just pull it up. And you want to leave a bit of a tail because we need to sew this in later with a needle so don't make it too short. Shrink that loop down and put it onto your hook and now we're just going to chain the width of our blanket. Average baby blankets are 1.2 meters to 1.5 meters across so I am just going to chain multiples of five until it is the width that I like. So to do that I'm just going to chain one two, three, four, five, pinch it, one, two, three, four, five, pinch it, one, two, three, oops, four, five, pinch, one, two, three, four, five, and just keep going until it is the length that you want. If you make your chains tight, I would go up a hook size, even I would just normally go up a hook size anyway. I would at least use a 6.5 or maybe even a 7 millimeter hook, about 1 millimeter bigger than uh, you're going to be using for your blanket. Just so your chain isn't too tight, but my hooks are downstairs, so I'm just going to chain really loose. And by chaining loose, I mean I'm not shrinking down that loop on my hook. I'm just leaving it as big as it is like that I'm not using much tension. So keep going making multiples of five until it is the width you would like your blanket to be. When your chain is as long as you want it to be, chain four more. One, two, three, and four. Wrap your yarn and into this fifth stitch where you are pinching, put your hook in. I count these, the V's are your stitches. So these V's are your stitches. You don't count what's on your hook. So one, two, three, four, and five. So this one. And how I do it, I hold my chain along the side like I would be working into it, so horizontally. And then I look for these little moon shapes at the bottom, just the one strand. So I'm just focusing on that bottom edge and I'm looking at that one strand. So one, two, three, four. Here's five. So I'm going to wrap my yarn and push right on top of that loop so that gets you two loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So there was your first double crochet. And into the same spot we're going to do three more double crochets for a total of four right now. So push your hook right back into the same spot and make one more double crochet. So this is your second. Wrap your yarn, go back in, grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So there's three and one more. There's our fourth double crochet. Chain two, one and two. Wrap your yarn and go back into that first spot. Grab your yarn and bring it back wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two. So that is the building block we're going to be making all the way along. 
wrap your yarn again and we're going to skip four stitches. So just looking at the bottom of your V's, one, two, three, four, so we're skipping this guy, we're going to go into the fifth, so we're going to go in over there. So wrap your yarn and go into that loop or into the stitch, two loops on your hook, grab your yarn and bring it back and now we're going to build one more shell. So that is four double crochets, there's one, here's two, three, and four, chain two, one and two, wrap your yarn and go back into that same spot to make one more double crochet like that. So now you've done two of these shells going across. So skip four again, one, two, three, and four. Go into the fifth, so I just pinch it so the one right in front of my thumb is the fifth one. Put my hook in, grab my yarn and bring it back, and we'll make four double crochets. two, three, and four, chain two, one and two, and one more double crochet into the same spot, one double crochet. So we're going to keep doing that all the way along, building these blocks of four double crochets, chain two, and one double crochet into every fifth chain going all the way along. If you're a beginner or you want to see it in slow motion, I'll show you that just now. So now I have three stitches left, which is what you want. You want to skip two, one, and two, and go into the third. So just one double crochet into this last stitch, or this last chain. There's your double crochet. Chain three, one, two, and three. Turn your work. And now we're just going to be working into these spaces that we made, our chain two spaces. And our, and our double crochet and chain three is how we keep a nice edge on our blanket. So wrap your yarn and go right into this chain two space and you're going to build your block inside there. So there is four double crochets, three and four, chain two, and one more double crochet into that same spot, like that. Jump over all of this, we're going to ignore all of this, all of these stitches, we're only working into the spaces, and no chaining in between, we've just finished our double crochet, now we're going to jump straight over into that next space and make another block of four double crochets, three, and four, a chain two, and one more double crochet into that same spot, like that. So now keep going along, making the block into each of these stitches, and I'll meet you when we get to the end of this row. So what can happen is we, sometimes you can forget to do your 
uh, chain two and double crochet, you just do your four and then you can kind of just start skipping over to the next one without building your little space. So I'm just gonna do that to show you how to fix it without frogging your work. And frogging means rip it, rip it. So rip it out your stitches. We're not going to rip out our stitches. So just finish this row, I'll meet you at the end. And on the next row, I'll show you how to fix that mistake. At the end of the row, you're gonna wrap your yarn. We're gonna make a double crochet, not into these double crochets here, one, two, three, and four four, but into this first chain, so into this stitch here on the end, we're going to be making our double crochet over there into the stitch, not into the space, to give us our nice edge on this blanket. So just push your hook in to that top of the chain three and make a little double crochet. So that's the edge of our work, chain three and turn. So now we're doing the exact same thing again that we did the, on the row below, but I'm going to show you how to fix that mistake if you make a mistake just like I did a bunch of times. So there we are at our mistake. So what you can do is just make you all of your stitches or make your block into this stitch here. So the top of the first double crochet you can just go into there make sure you have two loops of that stitch on your hook and just build your block in there. Oop. So wrap your yarn and four double crochets, one, two, three, and four, chain two, one and two, and one more double crochet, just like it was a space. And now keep going along and I'll just show you how that looks. Of course you can rip it all out and start again if you'd like, or go back to where you made your mistake. I've done that a bunch of times too until I figure it out this way. So there you can see, here's where we did it different. The hole is a bit smaller, to be honest, but it still all lines up pretty great. It's up to you. If you think that is noticeable, you're welcome to start again. If you think it's okay and no one's gonna notice. I had made a whole bunch of these mistakes in my big blanket, and I thought I was gonna, I think I made six of them and within like three rows, like it was crazy and I went to go show my students and not, we couldn't find it. Like literally, you, I, we couldn't see it. So anyway, that's a tip in case you make mistakes like I do. At the end of the row, again, we can count these little dimples. Just bring your hook back so you can count this first one. One, two, three, four. So into this one on the side or flip them up and count your V's. One, two, three, four, five. It's the top of the chain three is where we're going to join. So wrap your yarn, push your hook in over on that side, make sure you're in the stitch and not into the space, and make one double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, turn your work, and now keep going all the way back until your blanket is the size that you want it to be. So my blanket is finished. I did five balls of yarn and it is a nice square, which I like for baby blankets. So when you have finished, I just did my last double crochet into here. And we're just gonna do our regular chain three, one, two, three, like we always did at the end of our rows. And we're still gonna turn our work. Now into the space, we're just gonna do one single crochet and chain two, one and two. And now in the middle of these stitches here, so I'm just gonna basically skip the first double crochet and into the second double crochet, one single crochet. So that is three stitches so far. Chain one and into this space again, one single crochet. So we're just going to be jumping along our work like that and it'll give us a nice straight edge that we can put a border on if we feel like it. So we do chain two, one, two, skip a stitch, single crochet, chain one, single crochet into the space, chain two, 
skip a stitch, single crochet. Basically just into the top of this shell, I go into the second stitch, chain one, and single crochet into the space. Chain two, skip one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet into the space. So we're going to work our way along and it puts the five stitches back that we started with at the at the beginning of the blanket and it just finishes it off so that the, all the edges look very similar and have the same amount of stretch everywhere. So that is just to keep our, to get our stitch count back to where it was and to give us some spaces to do the next round. So after we single crochet into the space, we do chain two, single crochet into that shell, into the center of the shell, chain one, single crochet into the space, chain two, single crochet into the shell, chain one, single crochet into the space, chain two, single crochet into the shell, chain one, single crochet into the space. Keep going and I'll meet you on that end. Now into each of these spaces going along your work, two, double, two single crochets into each. So one, two, jump over, one, two, jump over, one, two, jump over, one, two, so you're going to go along all the way like this. So I'm doing two single crochets into each of these spaces going all the way down this edge. And you can see that lies nice and flat and looks super great. So keep going all the way down this edge, two single crochets into each of these spaces and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Into the last space, your two double crochets, one and two. So that finishes this side of the blanket and now we are going to chain one and rotate your work. And now we're going to work along this bottom side. So onto this side of the corner we're going to do our two single crochets. So that just gets us around that corner. And in between each of these spots, so from right here to right there, that is equivalent to five stitches. So I'm going to do two into this space just with that one, one loop and three into the, into the chain or around the chain. So it's going to look like that. So two underneath, myself situated. So two into this hole, into that stitch, one and two and three into the next space, one two, three, two into the stitch, one, and two, and three into the space, one, two, three. So that gives us our stitch count back of five stitches per, per uh, shell, and we just work our way all the way back that way. So two into the stitch, one and two, and three into the chain space. One, two, three. So work all your way back and I'll meet you at the next corner. So I've done my two single crochets into that stitch. So now our three into that next space, which is technically our corner. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I was supposed to do. Chain one, so we have a little spot to build on our next row if you're doing a next row. And now this side, this is the side where we just do two single crochets into each of these spaces all the way along. So this side of the corner, I'm gonna do two single crochets into the next space, two single crochets 
and all the way along two single crochets into each space and I will meet you at the end of this row. At the end of this row we just have this little chain spot so we're going to put a corner into there and our corner is going to be two single crochets, a chain one, rotate your work a bit so you can be working along the new side and into the same spot two more single crochets so that just works around our corner and gives us a little spot to build our border if we're going to keep building on it and now into the next spot well there's spots all the way along like holes we made all the way along this edge so one is going to get three single crochets and the next is going to get two because we want all each of these is worth five remember we started this blanket with a chain five as our multiple so we're going to end our blanket with a chain with so we're going to end our blanket with a stitch count of five but we're just going to work straight into the spaces so the space that's on top of the shell closest I'm going to do three one two three and into the next space I'm going to do two, one and two. So that gives us our five, keeps our stitch count the same. So into the next one, three, one, two, three, and into the next one, two, one and two. Oh gosh, it's a busy day in my neighborhood. So now keep going like that all the way along and you can see how nice our little edge is coming along. So into the, into the top, into the chain that is on top of our shell, the one that's pretty much touching, that's going to get the three. So three single crochets and into the bigger one, the bigger hole those are going to get two. So that'll kind of even out the spacing. So three, one, two, three, and then two. One, two. So keep going like this all the way along and I'll meet you at the end of this row. So I just put my three single crochets into that spot and I'm ready to go into the corner with my two single crochets, one and two. And we joined here so I'm going to do a chain one and a slip stitch to join. I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that first real single crochet. So I'm going to slip stitch into here, that one. So ignore this little slopey guy. We're not dealing with him. Push your hook in, bring your yarn back, turn your hook and bring it through. So there's your slip stitch, chain one because I am finished with this yarn color cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug this down to secure. And there is our blanket.